Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Rocky. Uh, um, my message will be about uh, martyrdom. And uh, first, I'd like to uh, thank Ati John to, uh, for helping me with this message. And uh, I just made this title today, not right now. And um, being fearless in the face of persecution. So I'll start off my, uh, my message with a story. On April 20th, 1999, a school massacre took place in Columbine High School where two students roamed the hallways and killed 13 targeted students. Out of the 13, one girl by the name Casey was shot for her believing in Christ. She was asked, do you believe in God? And when she admitted yes, the student pulled the trigger and ended Casey's life. Ever since the beginning of Christianity, there has been martyrdom that comes alongside with it. Martyrdom, according to the English dictionary, uh, means sufferings or death of a martyr. A martyr is somebody who suffers persecution and death for refusing to renounce a belief or cause. Um, the first martyr in the history of Christianity was no one else but our Savior Jesus Christ when he died for us on the cross in order to wash away our sins. Because he was he was arrested, he told his oh, before he was arrested, he told his apostles, No one takes my life, but I lay it down of my own accord. This can be found on in John ten eighteen. What Jesus means in this quote is that no one could take his life by by force and that he allowed himself to be arrested, so that he may offer his life for God's children. It's because of this sacrifice that our faith is strong and we are able to face persecution head on. Uh, for thousands of years, Christians have been getting persecuted because they refuse to deny Christ. Refusal to deny Jesus Christ in order to, in older days could lead to stoning, being beaten, and ultimately death. For example, there is a story of Stephen in Acts 7, 54 to 60. Stephen is, true, is a truly committed Christian who evangelized to everyone about Jesus. But when Stephen approached Jesus, uh, the Jewish council and told them that it was people like them who persecuted God's servants, the council was angry and sentenced him to be stoned to death. But even until his last moments, Stephen remained obedient to God and even prayed, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Stephen and Casey, I'm sure, during their life were teased for being a believer. These two are just examples of Christians who were, not, who were able to not fall into the pressure of the world, even in the last moments of their life. Now, let me ask you questions about your life. Please raise your hands if this applies to you. Have you ever been teased? <laughs> Have you ever been teased because you were a Christian or, or you believed in Jesus Christ? Uh, because you were a Christian. Because you went to church every Sunday. And finally, have you ever been sidetracked from going to church because you and your friends had plans the same day? We, go, we all go through pressure from the world for being a Christian. I understand that at times it can get tough. But remember this. In 1 Peter 4.14, it says, 
If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory, for the spirit of glory and God, of God rests in you. In this, we can find encouragement, never to let go of our God, of faith in God, even if it comes down to physical torture, such as what Stephen or like Casey encountered. In conclusion, I leave you with these verses from 1 Peter 3, 13 to 18. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear these, their threats. Do not be frightened. But in your, in your heart, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with the gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against you through our good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better if it is God's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. Thank you.